Hello and welcome back to the Robin Hood Archery video channel. I've got two reviews in one for you today. The first part of the review is an ILF True Center Shot Riser from s h Bows. And the second part are Carbon Fiber VX Plus Limbs from a company called Uka. I hope I'm spelling that correctly. Now, these have been a thousand shot tested, but before we get into my thoughts on the bow, let's flip the camera around and show you exactly what we've got in these bags. Okay, let's go. This is what we've got for you today. Let's take the limbs out of the picture for the time being. So we've got this very, very nice, absolutely robust, I have to say, sleeve for the riser. Now bear in mind that all of this has been shot a thousand times already. This is not new. Let's take it out and have a look. Firstly, we have a third limb bolt and I'll explain why in just a moment. Let's just set that there. We have a very nice string by S and H themselves with some very funky string silencers on them. And here we go. Let's get rid of this. There we are, guys. That is a true center shot ILF riser with ILF fittings for the limbs. And I think you can agree, if that's going to focus, there we are. Now, there are many people out there who have already posted, sometimes videos, sometimes written, about how beautiful and well put together these things are. So I'm going to approach this from a slightly different point of view. I'm going to give you a few facts and tell you exactly what they're like to shoot, what they're like to own, and sum up at the end to give you guys an idea what ownership of an S and H riser would be like. Okay, now then, this third bolt here, you can interchange, where are we? There we are in the picture. You can interchange with the top limb bolt. Now this subtly changes the tillering of limbs you use depending on whether you shoot off the shelf or whether you shoot with an arrow rest, which is pretty damn clever if you ask me. It just unscrews, you screw the next one in and away you go. So there we go. Now this is, I forget what wood this is, please forgive me, on this back edge of the riser. I'll put that up on the screen uh, kind of up here somewhere. I'll look that up when I get back home. And this whole front section here, this whole front section is my carter. Now that does lead to a fair bit of weight. Off the top of my head, I believe uh, there are many options available with between what woods you use and, and what have you. Um, they're very fond of using the micarta to provide a very stable shooting platform. Um, but because of the micarta, oh, look at that, the sun's come out. Because of the micarta, the weight of the risers can be for some quite hefty. I believe between 1.2 and 1.4 kilos for the riser on its own. Okay, let me just check some facts for you and we'll go again. So I've got my little cheat sheet to hand because I can never remember enough facts to keep in my head. Um, basically these are available in 17, 19 and 21 inches. They vary in physical weight from between 1.25 kilos to 1.4 kilos, depending on 
the wood used and the size of the riser. They, there are numerous wood options available and these accents available. I'll just very quickly tell you these accent stripes here are available in red, yellow, orange, white or a combination of any of them. All right. The woods themselves I'll post up on the screen later at the uh, end of the video um, so you guys can see exactly what options are available. And they make these risers custom to the customer's wishes. Okay. What else can I tell you? Um, they also offer laser engraving so you could have your, uh, your club put on here or your name or I don't know, anything anything you fancy really. One of the things that you might find interesting is these limb pockets. Now these are CNC machined. The rest of the riser hand built but the limb pockets are actually CNC machined. Okay and they are guaranteed absolute straight. Now for those of you who have may have shot ILF bows in the past, you'll know that a lot of them have lateral adjustment. So you can line up one limb with the other. That is not an issue with these SNH risers. These are absolutely straight. No need for lateral adjustment in them. As I've already mentioned, the bottom limb, uh, sorry, the bottom uh, limb bolt stays the same. The top one you can swap out so you can shoot off the shelf or from an arrow rest. Okay, so that is the riser and quite a beautiful looking thing it is too. Let's have a look at the limbs. Okay, here we go with the limbs. They come in these very swish, uh, I don't know what this material is, some kind of synthetic sleeve. And let's take them out. And as you can see, all black. This sun is being a bit of a pain in the backside for filming. Let's put them back down here so you can see. Full carbon ILF limbs. Now the company name, let me see if I can, can you see that? Is that going to... Come on. U U K H A. Now, how you pronounce that? No idea. Uka. Let's stick with that. And these are the Uka V X Plus. Very, very nice looking limbs. We'll get on to how they shoot in a little while. So. What's next, folks? Let's get this bow put together so you can see what it looks like uh, fully assembled. Let's do that. Right, and there we go, fully assembled, and the brace height at the recommended eight inches. And it is a very handsome looking bow. I said I wasn't gonna venture into looks and beauty and what have you, but this has to be said, with the limbs in place and it's just slot fitment, same as any ILF standard fitment bow, and strung up, it is a very, very good looking bow. Now, it's quite an aggressive recurve on the bow. Let me just come in a little bit closer so you can see. There we are. I believe these are what they call semi-static recurve limbs. But let me double check on that one. Don't take my word on that one just yet. Um, I will put it up here, whether they are or whether they're not. Um, but I seem to remember hearing somewhere that these are semi-static. Okay, really nice looking bow. You've seen the riser already. 
but just so you can see the shapes that's come back just a fraction there we go really good looking boat now then let me tell you a few of my thoughts from when I've been shooting this bow and then we'll go off and show you it in action. First of all, what struck me was the weight. Now for me, I found this very, very physically heavy. I've been used to shooting a very light horse bow, Asiatic bow to give it its correct term, for quite some time. So to pick up a micarta risered recurve which weighs in total let me see if i can remember complete bow weight of this strung up was 1.65 kilo all right now for you guys who deal in imperial measurements again i'll put it up here on the screen somewhere uh, the conversion so you can see so i actually found it quite heavy to actually use the bow um, and for those of you who know me will know that I'm suffering from shoulder impingement so that was a bit of a question mark in my mind. Moving quickly on, once I got into it, got used to shooting the bow and away from the Asiatic bow, I didn't find it a problem at all. Okay, it is very very solid, very very stable shooting platform. Hasn't adversely affected my shoulder at all, in fact at one point I thought this might actually be doing my shoulder some good because when you're at draw it is so solid and stable um, really very very nice to use. The arrow sits beautifully on the riser as you would expect. Now for those who don't understand what a true center shot bow is let me start at the beginning. A lot of bows, in fact most bows are not cut past center. Even if they are cut to center, your arrow doesn't sit in the center line of the bow. I hope that makes sense. So for an arrow to sit absolutely in line with the string, the shelf needs to be cut past center to accommodate that central position of the arrow, okay? Now what does that mean? I won't go into this in too much depth, but basically you've, the arrow is not leaving the bow in an arc. It leaves the bow absolutely straight. It hasn't got material of a riser which it needs to get around first before flying to the target. It flies out absolutely straight. Now I've in, experimented with any number of arrow shaft spines with this um, well from I think the highest spine i.e. The, the bendiest was about 900 I believe if I remember right and I've tried right up to four and even sorry five and even 400 spine arrows to put that into context, this is a 38 pound bow. Okay, 38 pound at my 28 inch draw. So it will accommodate a wide range of arrow spines, which makes tuning a lot easier. I did settle on some favorites, and that's these very lovely 600 spine arrows. They seem to work for me um, the best, okay? What else can I tell you about the riser? Well, the grip itself, again, let me come into the camera. Okay. The grip itself, I hope this is focusing, come on. Here, yeah, the grip itself is very, very comfortable. You can see it's got swells in all the right areas. It locates the hand very, very well. And I'm struggling for anything else to tell you about that because in use 
I didn't really have to think about it, which is the best compliment I can give it. You get it in the hand, you concentrate on actually shooting, not is my hand in the right position, is it where it was before, do I need to bring it this way, that way, what have you. It just absolutely works, does exactly what it says on the tin, as the saying goes. So that's pretty much the riser, very, very good quality. I hope you've seen from this video that it looks like new. And I'll state again, this bow has had over a thousand arrows through it now, and it is like it just came out of the pack. All right, so that's the riser. So I'm having to split this because these come from two different companies, as I said, at the beginning, S and H in Spain and UCA in France, but they work very, very well together. These UCA limbs are absolutely stunning in use. I, 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 I honestly, I wish I could find something negative to say about them, but they are absolutely sublime. Um, the quality is flawless, the materials used are, as far as I can see, the very best available. The power delivery, let's talk, let's talk through the shot. The draw is smooth, there is no noticeable stacking. Uh, I've drawn this up to... 30 inches just to test it and there was no noticeable stacking whatsoever it was exactly the same but with a bit more poundage as it was at 28 inch really very very impressive i will check my specs again when i get home and i'll find out what the max draw length for these are being carbon i can't see that it's going to be uh, a low limit on them at all very very impressive so guys who wants to see it in action of course you do let's do it before i get into this video any further i should point out i have no affiliation with snh risers or the manufacturer of the limbs Uoka, okay these thoughts are coming straight from me to you guys okay let's carry on Right, here we go with the shooting. Let's see how this bow performs. And what I can tell you straight away is that it has got a really smooth draw. Very, very smooth indeed. Could, I can't imagine a draw being any better. But you can hear that, that thrum when the arrow is released. Let me just do another one. So I've got my chest mic on. Whether I'm going to take the feed off the camera or off the chest mic, we'll see how it comes out on the computer. But you can definitely hear it's not the quietest bow in the world. Does that affect its performance? Not in the least. Very, very nice to shoot. Uh, I'm not sure what length these arrows are. Let's try a bit of an overdraw. I'm drawing to 28 inch at the moment. Let's see how far I can come back and I'll tell you what it feels like. Exactly the same. It's just that extra couple of pounds uh, draw weight with pulling it back, but the actual feel of the shot is exactly the same that the, the drawing back there's no noticeable ramping up or stacking of the the limbs it, it is very very good
just no, in, no there's no even no increase in noise very very good indeed so that's the limbs you notice i haven't mentioned the riser when i was doing the little talk at the table earlier i did mention that i had to kind of think back to what it was like to shoot with the riser because you just pick it up and shoot it and i've fallen into that trap again it sits in the hand it's comfortable it feels the most natural thing in the world yeah i can't say any more than that really it it's stable it's solid here's one for you that again hasn't come into my head at all hand shock doesn't exist none Let's do another overdraw. That's probably bringing it back to about 30 inch. Now then, what's coming on next? Yes, let's get these string silencers cut off. Needless to say, be very careful when you're cutting things off strings with scissors or a knife. Um, I've got to say I had to cheat. I took the string off, unwound it, and I actually had to find the, the binding where it was fitted on. It was re fitted really, really well. So let's see what it's like to shoot without string silencers. Yeah, obviously a slight increase in noise. You can feel or hear that vibration going on that slightly little bit longer. So given the choice, I probably would fit tiny string silencers again. Not affecting performance at all. Um, no noticeable increase in vibration coming through the riser. solid stable but I still prefer bows with string silencers they just look so cool okay good grouping let's try a couple with an overdraw again back to about 30 inch again very slight increase in vibration noise but only very, very slight. Really nice, excellent. So there we have it, guys. This is a very high-end bow. The riser itself is, off the top of my head, 720 euros. And the limbs are I need to check on the limbs. I think they're about 600 euros for the pair. Okay, so you're looking here, a 1300 plus euro bow. However, you are buying from two of the best quality names in the market, S&H and Uka. You are getting the finest materials. You are getting true center shot riser and whilst we're talking about the riser you are also getting a heck of a lot of customization options and again i'll put up the woods and all the rest of it towards the end of this video um, at the beginning let's just to sum up this uh, this thousand shot test in the beginning i think i was a little bit skeptical because I have been shooting, uh, let's call it more traditional bows for any number of years. And in particular, the Asiatic bows over the last couple of years. And it's a completely different kettle of fish. So to get this in my hands was kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. But it's kind of won me over. Um, 
I enjoy shooting it. It's very, very stable. Now for me, I'd probably opt for a slightly lighter riser option. That's just me. It could be because I'm so used to shooting a lot lighter bows, especially the Asiatic bows. Just to give you an example, my um, Asiatic bow that I shoot from Simon's Bow Company weighs something in the region of 384 grams complete. And this is a one point something kilo riser. So you can see which perspective I'm coming from. That's not to put this down, it's a case of horses for courses. I like it, it's a recurve, it's a very good recurve, it's quiet, it's effective. Um, talking about quietness, it could be quieter, yes. Wish I hadn't taken the string silences off, but I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, if you're in the market for something like this, you could do a lot worse than this bow. I'm really very, very impressed with the center shot feature of this in particular. And that I think more than anything is what ramps up the costs of this particular riser. Okay, that's it. A thousand shot review and testing done for another day. Hope you enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the Robin Hood Archery video channel. I'm off to do a bit more shooting. Catch you later.